You're watching the NASCAR Amino Network. What is up, NASCAR fans? All the crashes in this compilation you're about to see are from free to enter series made by the members of NASCAR Amino. If you want to sign up as a driver, consider downloading the app and joining our community. Feel free to join the Discord in the description as well. Enjoy the video. And Seth Peters makes it three wide on the low, low lane. There are four and five wide. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Caleb Carter. Oh, Alan Mooch. Tanner Camp. Oh, he's still flipping. Oh, my. oh, he's on top of Caleb. Oh, Xander Thompson. Oh, my gosh. What, 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 what an accident. I don't know what to say. They're going to race back to the line for position. Here's a replay. Looks like Tanner comes down. Yeah, it looks like he just comes down and pinches him and turns him and up. Oh, my gosh. Caleb almost went over the catch fence. Oh, he flipped on top of Caleb after he already flipped. Oh, my God. That is crazy. On board with Xander Thompson. Up the track. Oh, right into the driver's side door of Caleb Marinelli. Oh, that was vicious. We're only on lap one. There's Carter sliding by. Umber with Tanner Campos. Yeah, it looks like he just came down. He could have went up a little bit more. Oh. Alan Mooch into him. Three playoff drivers involved in this wreck. That is it's not good. Caleb Bernelli, your points leader involved in this wreck. Oh. What a view from Carter Jones. And he just flips wildly. Oh, my gosh. Stays with him. Yeah, Patron stayed with him. Dolan's up the racetrack in turn two. He's in the wall. Into the wall. Around goes Paul Dolan. Trouble. Caution's out. Seventh time tonight. More trouble. Breaker involved. And Leland five ducks to the inside. I have... No words for what happened there. It happens in front of the field. Paul Donlin smacks the wall, gets into Michael Patron. Patron's into the wall. He comes down in the Brangler. And then, oh my goodness, it's just on from there. Brangler got hit. And oh my god, it's just chaos behind them. Absolute mayhem in turn three. That's the kind of wreck I was expecting to happen earlier in a previous caution. We're going to follow around Danny Suarez. There's, this is all, the chaos has already started. Donald's got his car saved. And then there's just more action here. Patron. And then it just stacks up. And oh my god! And up and over goes Danny Suarez in that 15 car. The bad luck for the 15 continues. Yeah. But he's able to drive away. Surprisingly. Now we're gonna follow around it. We're gonna follow the action from our drone cam. There's the hit. Donlin makes the save. And then there's more chaos happening up front. And then it just kind of stacks up. Ryder gets into him, and that's what sends the 15 up and over. Marco Suarez, his night is over. Well, here's a big turnaround for that. Carter Jones is gonna win stage one as we come to the caution. And there's our Oh. Well, I, I mean, okay. Uh, why is there a gush? That's a little interesting. I assume oh. some... Oh, no. The oh, Paul it might Don have been oh, Paul Whoa. We got, a, we got a wee bit of a stack up over here. The stage on the final corner. Here's what happened. Oh, my God. So, Alan not giving just, Seth and Benjamin any room. And then that just sent them up the track and just started to cause that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, oh, no. It was 07. No. The pole center just got destroyed while the Loney died, and the 78 probably broke a rib. Oh, no. I heard eight tires are better than four. I don't think that's, I don't oh, think that's what they well, meant. Well, there's where Donlin got involved. Just nowhere to go. The track was blocked, and there was a car to his inside. A lap down. Here it is from Benjamin Deloney. Oh, no. What are, you, what are you supposed to do there? Well, I mean, you can't really do anything. I mean, oh. I just don't know what Alan was thinking there. I mean, 
coming off of a high back to back win. Because if these guys racking from them, was, I thought they were going slow. Oh, oh, no. oh no, we were talking about him being conservative. Oh no, again. Frustration with the O1, it looks like, as the caution will come out early in our B main. You just made his wackos guys work. work hard out for him. He might need to come down pit road and repair that damage because there's a lot of side damage after hitting that wall very hard. Here we go. It's the replay into turn number one. Looks like I think Nick came down, but Zach slid up. Looked more like a racing mm. incident than anything. I think Zach had a run heading into turn one, and he was trying to capitalize on Nick Nelson's opportunity of sliding up the racetrack and misjudged it completely and led to this crash from in turns one and two. Mm -hmm. I'm not yeah, sure how you can be go. upset with Nick about that. Yeah. I don't know. But it's Zach definitely put himself in a much tougher situation now. Yeah, and like I yeah. said earlier, just fortunate that car didn't flip over and give himself even more problems. He's looking on board, looking real with Nick. Oh, wow. Oh. Hard hit. They hit again. Also, we have no fans in attendance because the grandstands got bombed. Just... Oh my gosh, Mikey, what the hell? Okay. Patrick Roden's freaking dead. It's not good. Quinn Yeager, the Intimmy Yeager. Let's get a replay here. Patrick, you idiot. Patrick, oh, Quinn, no. Colin Dover. Oh. Or tonight I'm going to talk about it. We're going to go on board with Patrick Roden. Um. Yeah, um, he's just a fucking moron, you know? Like, what? I'm going with Kyler Scott. Oh, my. Quinn almost freaking flipped. 